Smuggler's Cove and Yellow Banks Anchorage are some of our favorite spots to go, particularly when the wind gets high. We spent a couple of nights in there at over 50 knots. Located on the far east end of Santa Cruz, they're easy to find, even on radar, even in the darkest night. It's a large, wide open anchorage separated by a reef, which is in the middle of this picture. The other huge uh, landmark is the olive groves, shown in the northwest portion of the chart. Note too the symbols for kelp all around. Uh, you usually encounter most of that at Yellow Banks. Now here's a picture of that olive grove that'll help you get yourself oriented when you get into the anchorage. You can see these from 10 or 12 miles away. We typically anchor in 25 to 30 feet of water, which just puts us inside the Coast Guard buoy. That wreck, well, we've never seen it. You're in fairly close. This guy's in probably in 20 feet of water, and uh, he'll be here in the surf all night, maybe be bothered by it. Here we are anchored in Yellowbanks Anchorage. It's where we go when the wind is particularly strong. Remain clear of the canyons and stay right behind the broad face. Also, stay out of the kelp, which you see to the left of this picture. I'm going to zoom around the anchorage here, starting at Yellow Banks. I'm going to shoot to the south and come around to the north. We're looking at the southwest portion of the anchorage. Now you see the first set of olive groves just to the south of the river mouth. We'll swing around here and give you a good look. Many people try to go ashore right there. That can be very hazardous because it's the worst surf. And here's a shot back uh, looking at that from the beach. Center of the beach, kind of rough down up to the north in this picture. It's a little bit easier to get ashore. Now continuing to pan around the anchorage, we're looking just about due west now into Smuggler's Cove. And as we go northwest, uh, there's a little reef up in this area, a rocky promontory, and you can see that sailboat's getting a little bit of a rough ride due to the wind waves breaking in there. It's a great place to come visit, and you can anchor anywhere along this coastline. Kayak is great in the area, and there's some sightseeing to do at a 19th century ranch uh, in Smuggler's Cove. Getting ashore can be pretty tricky, however, so be careful reading the surf. Generally, you can get ashore a little bit easier in the north end of the cove than from the center. Uh, in any event, be prepared to get wet as you go ashore or as you come back off the beach. It is worth a trip. It's a beautiful spot. You can also hike from here over to Scorpion Anchorage. Well, if you've got any questions about sailing to Smuggler's Cove, Yellow Banks, or anywhere in the Channel Islands National Park, give me a call at 805-750-7828. I'm Captain Dan, or look for me at sailchannelislands.com. Have a great sail.